Greetings, greetings, fellow anime gamers, and once again, I'm coming at you with an exciting Vita video. Now, I don't mean to alarm anybody, and you might be wondering why I'm talking in such a low voice. Well, that's because we are about to infiltrate my local GameStop here in my town to see how much the company is actually supporting the PlayStation Vita. As some of you may know, the only way to get PlayStation Vita games these days from a brick and mortar store is basically GameStop. Yes, there are some places like maybe used video game stores, but for the most part, this is the the only major company you can find them at. So we're about to infiltrate this one to find out how much love they are giving to our favorite handheld. Yeah, we almost got hit by a slow moving car. Okay, maybe standing in the street trying to make this epic wasn't my best idea. So um, <clears throat> at the risk of getting killed, uh, why don't we just uh, go inside and see what there is? Oh, we made it guys. Look at this. Look at this, isn't it beautiful? It's like the lost city of Atlantis. It's like the 4th of July, my birthday, and Christmas all rolled into one. All right, all right, we gotta concentrate now, guys. I know you're getting a little excited over there, but we gotta stay focused. This is a lot of games to take in at once, and I think we just gotta dive in and see what it is they have here. Oh man, so many great games to choose from. The original Gravity Rush, Dead or Alive 5, which for some reason has been demanding a higher price lately these days. And then Fate Extella. Wow, they have it for 50 bucks. That's kind of expensive considering that game's been out a little while. Let's see, guys. Terraria. That plays sort of like a little bit of like a Minecraft game, but in 2D. Ooh, One Piece Unlimited World Red. This is a fantastic action game if you haven't had a chance to play it. Wow, look how dirty it is. Man, what some people won't do with their games. I don't even think I want to know. All right, Angry Birds. That's shovelware, but hey, it's $7 shovelware. Tearaway. That's another great game. Call of Duty. Um, it's okay on the on the Vita. It wasn't that great, but it was still a first-person shooter. Not many of those. Oh, The Wolf Among Us. This one was great. I had it on the PlayStation 3, I want to say, and uh, I did play the Vita version. Frame rate was a little jittery, but overall, it was uh, still a pretty good port. Ah, look at all this, guys. Doesn't this doesn't this just warm your heart? Ah, EDF, EDF. That sounds for Earth Defense Force, by the way. If you guys haven't had a chance to play this, it plays sort of like a kooky 1930s film where you shoot a bunch of alien bugs and spiders. Got Gravity Rush here. Love, absolutely love this game. And $15, that's not a bad price. Code Realize, you guys know how much my heart, my heart yearns for that game. Sorry, I'm not trying to be creepy. And Odin Sphere. For some odd reason, this game seemed to be a little on the rare side amongst the Vena community. I saw people on eBay trying to sell this for over $100 back a few months ago. Now it seems to have come down in price. I guess maybe they printed more copies or something. Summon Night 6, excellent game. Bad Apple Wars, that cover you're seeing right there is exclusive to GameStop. Never expected them to do a Vita exclusive. Color X Malice, ah. Well, there you go, guys. What did you think? This is what... Hey. I don't know what those kids are looking at. Haven't they ever seen a guy in a trench coat and sandals before? Anyway, as I was saying, this is what my GameStop here in my area looks like. Uh, sadly, not quite as large of a stock as they used to have. It seems like as the months go by, they're liquidating the Vita more and more. But it's still a lot better than some areas like Target where you can't even find the PlayStation Vita anymore. They've just totally betrayed us. And I've even heard that there are sadly are some GameStops that are already throwing out the Vita cases and just selling them individually in the little carts, which... Uh, makes my Vita heart very, very sad. But hey, at least there's still some GameStops left that are still selling it the way it was meant to be. And now my question to all of you. How's the Vita supply in your area? Is it kind of similar to mine in that you're finding it's harder and harder to find them in a brick and mortar store? Or are you finding them in abundance where you live? I want to know down in the comments below. And as always, anime gamers, we must forge our own path. Anything is possible. Thanks for watching.